Hello friends, in today's video we will see about piezoelectric transducer. So first of all let us see about principle of piezoelectric transducer. Piezoelectric transducer works based on the principle of piezoelectric effect. Uh, now let us see the piezoelectric effect. So we can say that a piezoelectric material is one in which an electric potential appears across certain surface of a crystal. If the dimension of the crystal are changed by the application of force. This potential is produced by the displacement of charges. This effect is known as a piezoelectric effect. Here as we can see in this animation when we will apply the pressure then the voltage induced and we will measure that voltage with the help of voltmeter and when the pressure removed the voltage reading is zero. Now let us see about piezoelectric material. The common piezoelectric materials are Russell salt, quartz, ammonium dihydrogen phosphate, lithium sulphate and potassium dihydrogen phosphate. In piezoelectric material, the material that exhibit a significant and useful piezoelectric effect are divided into two categories. The first one natural group and second one synthetic group. Now let us see the working of piezoelectric transducer. <coughs> As we can see in this figure, uh, there is one piezoelectric crystal or we can say piezoelectric transducer is plus and uh, on that one kind of force is applied. Here two electrodes are connected with that crystal and with that electrode, with the help of that electrode we will measure the output voltage E0. Here the width and thickness of that crystal is T and W. The piezoelectric effect can be made to respond to mechanical deformation of the material. This mechanical deformation generates a charges and this charge appears as a voltage across the electron. The magnitude and polarity of the induced surface charges are proportional to the magnitude and direction of the applied force. As we can see in this figure, uh, if we apply the force in the inward direction on that crystal, so we can say that the voltage in use is polarity is positive on left hand side and negative on right hand side and if we apply the force on outward direction at that time the output voltage polarity is negative on left hand side and we can say positive on right hand side. <coughs> the piezoelectric transducer formula uh, we know that charge Q is equal to D multiplied by F where D is equal to charge sensitivity of crystal. It is constant for given crystal and F that is applied force. Force causes a change in thickness of crystal. So we can define force F is equal to AE divided by T multiplied by delta T where A is equal to area of crystal T that is thickness of crystal and E is equal to Young's modulus. Young's modulus E is equal to stress divided by strain uh, where stress is equal to F by A and strain is equal to delta T by T. So we can say that E is equal to F by A whole divided by delta T by T. If we rearrange this equation we can say that Young's modulus E is equal to F T divided by A multiplied by delta T. Here area is equal to A W into L where A that is area of crystal, W that is width of crystal and L that is length of crystal. Now from equation number 1 and 2, Q is equal to D multiplied by AE divided by T into delta T. The charge at electrodes gives rise to an output voltage E0. So E0 is equal to Q divided by Cp where Cp is equal to capacitance between electrodes and we can say that Cp is equal to epsilon r epsilon 0 a divided by t. From equation number 1, 5 and 6 we can say that E0 is equal to Q divided by Cp. So E0 is equal to d into f divided by epsilon r epsilon 0 a in multi uh, divided by t right. So E0 is equal to d multiplied by t whole divided by epsilon r epsilon 0 into f divided by a but F divided by A is equal to P is equal to pressure or stress in Newton per meter square. So we can say that E0 is equal to dT epsilon r epsilon 0 into P. So E0 is equal to GTP where G is equal to D divided by epsilon r epsilon 0. So G 
is known as voltage sensitivity of crystal. Now, G is equal to E0 divided by Tp. So, we can say that G is equal to E0 divided by T whole divided by P where E0 divided by T is equal to epsilon electric field strength. So, G is equal to electric field stress, electric field divided by stress. So, we can say that G is equal to epsilon by P. From the above equation, crystal voltage sensitivity G can be defined as the ratio of electric field intensity to pressure or stress. Now, let us see the modes of operation of piezoelectric crystal. Uh, there is four more uh, modes. First one, thickness shear. Uh, second, phase shear. Third, thickness expansion. And fourth one, transverse expansion. Now, let us see some of the properties of piezoelectric crystal. Stability, high output insensitivity to temperature and humidity. Ability to form into most desirable shape. Now, let us see equivalent circuit of piezoelectric transducer. Here we can see in this figure there is an equivalent circuit of piezoelectric transducer. Uh, in that figure Q, CP and RP is there. Q that means uh, charge generator, CP is a capacitor and RP is the resistance. Right? So, in the above figure source is a charge generator. So, we can say that Q is equal to D multiplied by F. Charge generated is across the capacitor CP of the crystal and its leakage reactance RP. This equivalent circuit is now converted into this kind of circuit as we can show in this figure. Here charge generator Q is replaced by electrical voltage source VOC. The charge generator can be replaced by an electrical <coughs> equivalent voltage source having voltage VOC is equal to Q divided by CP. So VOC is equal to D multiplied by F divided by CP. Now let us see some of the advantages of piezoelectric transducer. Uh, there is no need for an external power supply, easy to handle and use at it has a small dimension, high frequency response it means the parameters change very rapidly. Now let us see some of the disadvantages of piezoelectric transducer. It is affected by temperature, the output is low so some external circuit is required. It is not suitable for measurement in dynamic condition. Now, let us see some of the applications of piezoelectric transducer. These are primarily used for measuring surface roughness in accelerometers. They are used in seismographs to measure vibration, in strain gauge to measure force, strain, stress, etc. Used by automotive industries to measure detonations in engines, used in ultrasonic imaging.